Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this cat eye look. If you want to get this look, please continue watching. Let's get started. Prep and Prime with MAC Prep and Prime. Spray, spray, spray. Then we're going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown. And my pencil, MAC Pencil 208. I'm just going to fill up my brows a little bit. I don't do it too much because I already have enough. But if you guys want me to do a video how to do your brows, uh, just comment and I'll do it for you. You know it. Just continue doing that. Nice. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. Hmm. Okay, and then we're going to go with the MAC Soft Ochre. And my Sigma brush E58 all over the eyelid and at the top as well, just to kind of highlight. Oh, yes. And then just kind of blend it all in with my finger. That's kind of what I do. Then we're going to use the It Cosmetic Blending Brush. I love this brush, it's so gorgeous. Then we're going to use the Trish McCoy, the Glaze Eyeshadow. It's called Cafe Latte. I'm just going to blend it all on my lid, going in the creased area. I wanted to use a natural tone for this and just kind of dust it all over. Then we're going to go with the eyeliner. My eyeliner is from Maybelline Liquid um what's not is it a liquid eyeliner so yeah it's an eyeliner <laughs> black one and just kind of draw go through your eyelid not eyelid eye lined and make a v follow the natural tear of your eye And then what I used for this was the MAC 266 SE to eyeline it. From there, I'm going to also go back to my Trish palette and use the color Raisin. I use my E57 Sigma brush and just kind of blend it all in. Um, don't go above your lid. Do you want to really keep it? all underneath so it'll make that smoky cat eye don't go to the top though and just blend it all real well blend 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 and then you can always go back with the black eyeliner and kind of make your eye um, a little darker if you need it. I only use these three eyeshadows because I don't want to do it too dark. Um, you could use a black eyeshadow and kind of go um, on the top where you eyelined everything. And then from there, I used again my coffee latte and kind of went back to it. And then I used my E20 Sigma brush um, and I used my white peach from the Trish McCoy palette. I love these shadows, they're so amazing. Um, it's like a glaze looking like, it's pretty cool. And then whatever you guys missed, just kind of go with the um, wipey and remove it. Don't stress, it's okay. We're humans, we make mistakes. Then I went back and Did my eyeliner all over again. Pretty nice. Don't worry, take a second. It's not gonna come out the first time. Trust me, if you are a pro, then you'll be fine. But if you're a beginner, it's okay. Do the eyeliner all over again. There we go. Take your time. Don't rush it. 
and then you can kind of go over the V shape that we did at the beginning if you think you need it a little bit darker. You can go over with a darker um, shadow as well, but I just want to do it like that because I think it looks pretty. And blend, 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 blend. And then we are going to do the inner of the eye. You want to um, kind of follow the natural tear duct of your eye. Towards the inner of your eye, I don't like to do the bottom part because I'm going to go over with my Cafe Latte um, shadow under my eye. There we go. Just kind of give it a little bit definition. I love it. I love this. I love these shadows. They're so gorgeous. Anyways, on to mascara. This mascara is from Mexico, guys. I really don't know the brand. Sorry. Um, but I love it. It is amazing. Oops. Then we're going to prep and prime all over again, guys. Contour with my Bat MAC. Pro Longwear Concealer NC30. Do it, um, blend it in with the Beauty Blender. There we go. And then we're going to contour the nose, the cheeks, my, my cheeks, and a little bit of my forehead as well. I am using KA Cosmetics and the tone Camel. And then don't forget to blend. I am going to blend with my Kabuki brush from It Cosmetics. I love this brush. They um, came out with another one. I need to go buy it. And then we're going to go over with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer on the color um, Natural. And just all over your face. This is going to give you a very natural look, which I like it. Uh-huh. And then we're going to use our favorite, of course, Anastasia Contour Kit. Uh, we're going to use the color Banana, and we're also going to use the color Java. Um, the Banana is going to go onto our highlighting, of course. And the Java is going to go over the darker areas. I'm just going to go over wherever you did the creamy contouring. Uh, I am using this Real Technique brush by Sam and Nick Chapman. I love this brush. It's so amazing. It just hits the spa. And then you just blend it real well. You don't want any harsh marks. Um, just go over with your Kabuki brush if you want and just kind of blend it all over. Do 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 do. Yay! We're almost done. Powder as well. My big It Cosmetic Fluffy brush. I love this brush. So soft and amazing. And then we're going to go over with the blush. Uh, it's called Sun Basque by MAC. Uh, a little bit of that. I like this um, darker blush just because we are doing a little bit of this smoky eye and we do want it to look nice and then we're also going to use uh, my lick balm by EOS and then we're gonna use my NYX cosmetics um, lip liner on number 810 and then we're gonna go over with the city color be mate lipstick it's called cappuccino M7 I love this. I got it on my Ipsy bag. And we are all done, guys. I wish I would have done my hair. I'm sorry. I'm just doing the look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Bye.